Well, hello and welcome to this week's Daily Devotions. This week we're going to be in Genesis chapters 1, 2 and 3. And it would be ideal now if you could pause the video and go and read chapters 1, 2 and 3 of Genesis. It'll take between 5 and 10 minutes. So just press pause, do that and then come back. Brilliant. Let me begin by reading the first few verses. Chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Three things for us briefly to think about today. God began the world. God uniquely began the world. God uniquely began the world and it was very good that God began the world. It was purposefully made. It wasn't an accident. God began the world. There's a beautiful verse, the beautiful little picture there of the spirit hovering over the waters. Now the original Hebrew uh, description of that would have made their um, original hearers think of a, a mother bird sort of brooding over, hovering over its young. So the world was deliberately, purposefully made out of compassion, out of love. Now this is a unique thing because the ancient myths at the time uh, would have um, all been about the world being bad or rubbish and the purpose being to get off the world in a sort of spiritual sense. So you've got stories in Greek and Roman mythology of, of the earth being the, the sort of what was left after the gods battling in the skies and the, the rubbish that came off it or the, the, um, the lost limbs or bo dead bodies of of God's being used to fashion the earth. So, so all out of something, the world being made out of something bad and the purpose being to get off it. And, and, and perhaps you describe the modern myths of today as, as saying that the world is all there is. There is literally nothing else apart from what you can touch and see. So, so live now, get all you can from it because there is nothing else. There is nothing else to come. The Christian worldview is unique. It says the world was deliberately made, not an accident, deliberately and purposefully made out of love. It's good. And you see that, just our third little point, you see at the end of Genesis chapter 1 verse 31, God saw all that he had made and it was very good and, and it was very good. Deliberately made uniquely made and what was deliberate and uniquely made was very good. We'll read a bit later in chapter three about what went wrong but that is the foundation, that is the heart, that is in the DNA still of the world today. So look as you go around your day today, if you feel a bit left out, if you feel a bit purposeless, if you feel just like nothing. Remember that you are purposefully and wonderfully made. The psalmist in Psalm 139 says um, that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You're no accident. God made you deliberately, fashioned you out of love. You are unique and you are full of purpose. And we'll explore a bit more of that purpose in, in terms of relationship, in terms of work, in terms of uh, the environment, and in terms of rest as we go through the week. Don't let the world lie to you. You are purposefully, uniquely, and well made. Amen.